All right, now we're doing training JS number 18, Methods of String Object Concat Split and its Good Friend Join. This is by My Jinx in 2015. 91% of the people like it. If you want, you can read all about Concat Split and its Good Friend Join. But uh, to get to this task, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be splitting this up splitting this uh, uh, string up by the spaces and then we're going to be splitting up the words by the spaces in between the characters and then we're going to rejoin the words by whatever separator is in it is uh, given to us okay so like you see but we're also going to join it back together by the spaces between the words all right hopefully that all makes sense to you and we're not even going to use con concat so anyway here's let's do it let's get to it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to split the string and we're going to use the split method to do that and i'll show you in just a second okay so the split method divides a string into an ordered list of substrings, puts these substrings into an array, and returns the array. The division is done by searching for a pattern where the pattern is provided as the first parameter in the methods call. Okay, So first let's split this up by the spaces. Okay, So we're going to say string.split, and we're going to split it by the spaces, just like that because that's what we put in here. There's the syntax, separator, all that, all right? So now we're going to have to separate the words, okay, by the spaces in between the characters. So to do that, we're going to use the map. Where's it at? We're going to use the map uh, method, which creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. Okay, the syntax is map and then element and there's going to be an arrow function after that. So this arrow function is x times 2. So this is going to come in and say 1 times 2, 4 times 2, 9 times 2, 16 times 2. And here's the answers that are going to pop out just like that. All right. So for this one, we're going to say dot map. And remember, it was element. And this element, we're going to say uh, element dot dot split. Oops, that's not even do it. Split, and we're going to do it by the spaces in between the characters. Okay, so now it's going to say uh, like on this one my, and then it's going to split it, and then it's going to go. Then the next one's element's going to be name, and then split it, and then is, and then split it, and then John, and then split it. All right. So now that we've got that. We're going to join it back together with these separators. So we're going to use the join method, which creates an, and returns a new string by concatenating all of the elements in an array-like object or an array, uh, separated by commas or a specified separator string. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the separator, OK? And the separator is going to be separator. So we're going to say dot join. I'm going to say separator all right and that's the end of the map and then we're going to say over here dot join and we're going to join it back together join the words that are now like this joined together by the separator we're going to join the words back together with the spaces so we're going to say join space let's see if this works all right cool attempt it there we go submit it all right, very much like this one. Let's check out my solutions. Just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.